Hello and welcome back to HWRadio.com. It's your main man, Hollywood. And today, they caught the Trump administration with a secret war on the legalization of marijuana states. Well, here goes the story. It was brought to you by BuzzFeed. The Marijuana Policy Coordination Committee wants to counteract positive marijuana messages and identify problems with state legalization initiatives, according to documents obtained by BuzzFeed News. The White House has secretly amassed a committee of federal agencies from across the government to combat public support for marijuana and cast state legalization measures in a negative light, while attempting to portray the drug as a national threat, according to interviews with agency staff and documents obtained by BuzzFeed News. The Marijuana Policy Coordination Committee, as it's named in the White House memos and emails, instructed 14 federal agencies and the Drug Enforcement Administration this month to submit data demonstrating the most significant negative trends about marijuana and the threats it poses to the country. In an ironic twist, the committee complained in one memo that the narrative around marijuana is unfairly biased in favor of the drug, but rather than seek objective information, the committee's records show it is only asking officials to portray marijuana in a negative light, regardless of what the data shows. The prevalent marijuana narrative in the U.S. is partial, one-sided, and inaccurate, says a summary of a July 27th meeting among the White House and nine departments. In a follow-up memo, which provided guidance for responses from federal agencies, White House officials told officials departments should provide the most significant data demonstrating negative trends with a statement describing the implications of such trends. As several states have approved laws allowing adults to use and purchase cannabis, critics have contended lax attitudes will promote drug abuse, particularly among youth, and they have pressed for a federal crackdown. The White House at one point said more pot enforcement will be forthcoming, though President Donald Trump has never said he was on board with that agenda, and he announced in June that he really supports new bipartisan legislation in Congress that would let state marijuana legalization thrive. However, the committee's hardline agenda and deep bench suggests an extraordinarily far-reaching effort to reverse public attitudes and scrutinize those states. Their reports are to be used in a briefing for Trump on marijuana threats. There is an urgent need to message the facts about the negative impacts of marijuana. Staff believe that if the administration is to turn the tide on increasing marijuana use, there is an urgent need to message the facts about the negative impacts of marijuana use. Production and trafficking on national health, safety, and security, says the meeting summary. None of the documents indicate officials are seeking data that show marijuana consumption or legalization laws, which have been approved in eight states, serve any public benefit or do a better job of reducing drug abuse. Coordinated by White House official, White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, ONDCP, the committee met on July 27th with many of the largest agencies in the federal government, including the Departments of Justice, Homeland Security, Health and Human Services, and state an unclassified summary of the meeting obtained by BuzzFeed News says the memo is predecisional and requires a close hold and it says the notes were not to be distributed externally the white house followed up the next week by sending agencies and other departments including the departments of defense education transportation and veterans affairs as well as the environmental protection agency instructions to submit two-page bulleted fact sheets that identify marijuana threats and issues with the initiatives by August the 10th. While spokespeople at those agencies declined to comment on the committee itself, asked if the Education Department had submitted its response to the White House, Liz Hill, a spokesperson for the agency, told BuzzFeed News this week, I'm told we did turn it in on time to the White House, to the WH. I guess you're saying the White House WH. I'm going to just say WH too. Fuck it. A State Department spokesperson told BuzzFeed News the State Department regularly coordinates with ONDCP on a wide range of drug control issues. 
for specific questions about the Marijuana Policy Coordination Committee, we refer you to ONDCP. Neither the ONDCP officials or White House Press Office responded to requests from BuzzFeed News to comment on the committee. Departments were instead told to identify marijuana threats, issues created by the state, were created by state marijuana initiatives and consequences of use, production, and trafficking on national health and safety and security. The agencies should also provide an example of a story relating an incident or a picture that illustrates one or more of the key areas of concern related to use, production, and trafficking of marijuana. The White House guidance says the agencies were asked to describe how the drug poses threats to their department and the consequences of marijuana on national health and security. We are asking each agency to provide information on marijuana. White House ONDCP staffer Haley C. Conklin wrote in an email to department leaders on August 1st, she cited the guidance document saying it will assist you in providing the appropriate information. Contacted by BuzzFeed News about the committee, Conklin told BuzzFeed News, thank you so much for calling, but I cannot comment, then hung up the phone. A number of agencies also declined to comment, including the Departments of Labor, Veteran Affairs, Homeland Security, Health and Human Services, and Transportation. None of the 14 agencies BuzzFeed News contacted for this story, the DEA or the White House, denied the Marijuana Committee's existence. Although the White House said last year that it expected greater enforcement of marijuana in states where it's legal, Trump's endorsement of legislation to allow states to legalize marijuana Untouched by the Justice Department, the comments seem to jab at Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who has relentlessly threatened a pot crack now as leader of the Justice Department. Sessions has recited 1980s-style rhetoric about saying no to marijuana, but Americans have diverged from the federal government's hardline stance on pot prohibition with eight states having now legalized its adult recreational use and authorizing systems to sell it like alcohol. A Quinnipiac University poll in April found that 63% of Americans support legalization. While marijuana consumption rose in the 15 years before Colorado and Washington became the first states to start allowing adults to buy marijuana in 2013, according to JAMA Psychiatry, federal data indicate marijuana abuse disorder has dropped nationally since then. So, according to JAMA Psychiatry, federal data in- indicate marijuana abuse disorder has dropped nationally since then. So, since they legalized the shit, motherfuckers abusing it has dropped so that's the that's from the horse's mouth right there that's the shit that's the little investigation into it and everything all in one so they try to legalize it they feel they see that they ain't they ain't the, they thought they was gonna be the ones making the most money but i'm gonna tell y'all something that motherfucking mer- the medical marijuana is bullshit y'all got bullshit that's why it's not selling because y'all have bullshit grow that shit in the motherfucker it's legal grow that shit in, in the real motherfucking the, the right area y'all know how this shit goes scientists and all y'all motherfuckers at green thumbers grow that shit in the real the real the real climate right just get a piece of land out there and grow that shit there and y'all see shit change because i'm a real smoker and i can tell you that miracle that that medical shit is bullshit. I don't care what name you got on the package. It's bullshit. Y'all better get some real damn kush. Motherfuckers running around here talking about uh, yeah, this is that, this is that. Nah, nigga, that's that's motherfucking son, and, and it don't even know how to even get you high yet. So y'all, that's gonna be the show for today. Cause I done got pissed at the government for trying to push this damn medical bullshit. Marijuana, it is, it's not it. It's not the way. That's why That's why you're really not making nothing off of it because everybody else done figured it out. So y'all better just grow y'all some real shit if y'all want to get in on the money. Don't get mad now, nigga. You better just do it right. Fuck trying to keep, y'all keep trying to get over. Genetically modified food, genetically modified weed. The same damn thing. Y'all motherfuckers need to wake up. Y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all sp- smoking and putting in your body. But... Go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. Also, make sure you check out the sponsors page. 
They got some nice sales going over there in the radio station. There's no commercials, there's no ads. It's just straight music, new music, turn turn you on to a new artist. You might not even know about them. Might be your favorite artist tomorrow. And you found them here, hwlradio.com. A radio station without a playlist. And I'm out.